Welcome back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. I will link it to the end of this video. There's a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot on YouTube. Thank you so much. Y'all, I know, it looks bad. She took a little bit too much off. But you know, in a couple of days, it'll lay down right, so. Oh, well, it's just hair. <laughs> okay, y'all, we got a new executive order that's been signed by Joe Biden. $10 billion to help the American people. We're going to talk about that also. And I will let you know when I get to that part because you know. Okay, y'all. Somebody in the comments said the blind guy should be put in jail for lying to everyone about stimulus checks all the time. Yeah, it's, it's a shame lying is not illegal. I really can't say more than that. You know, I have to say this. People always say, why do certain YouTubers lie all the time and make these crazy, ridiculous videos and thumbnails? And I'm going to tell you the truth. It's because people goes and watches them. People's making them rich. Uh, there's one I won't call the name, but he's making at least $2,000 per day, seven days a week. Y'all don't forget, I make YouTube videos. I know how they pay, so I can figure out basically what other people are making. And no, I didn't go to that website that tells every, everybody because that is completely bogus. It's always wrong. I know because I've checked mine. Okay. <clears throat> People are now saying that since America has first world privilege, it is our responsibility to help the rest of the world and be their police force, be their one shop go to for everything you need under the sun no matter what the price is we'll pay it well let me tell you something about that now i'm not talking about the countries that has those starving children drinking muddy water bloated bellies and stuff like that we should help them everybody should help them that can help them that's a bad situation they're in they do need fresh water good food to eat because the babies are dying every day. But that's not the ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about these countries that <clears throat> they get into wars, wars are brought onto them, and they start wars. And at the end of the day, it takes two to start a war. Uh, but I'm talking about this type of country. We don't need to pay for everything under the sun for them. In fact, we don't need to pay for anything for them unless it's food assistance. You know, people talk about first world privilege. Well, let me tell you about first world privilege. When the first person stepped on American soil, there was nothing. No buildings, no houses, no people, no nothing. Same as with other countries. The first person gets there, there's nothing there. Now, why is the fact that America's worked hard all their life and they built America to what it is now? I know there's a lot of other great places out there that was built from nothing and they're doing really good. But if these small countries don't start taking care of themselves little by little until they can take care of themselves i mean we're going to be tasked with the with the fact that we got to pay their way for everything i just i can't get into that i've talked about that long enough uh someone said in the comments you think a lot of the elected officials still owe on their student loans. Yeah, in fact, I know AOC, the big mouth little girl, 
uh, she owes 17000 That's why she's fighting so hard for it. She wants her loan paid for. Somebody said they thought Elon Musk had already bought Twitter. Uh, he said he's going to buy it. He's got the funds to buy it. Everything is moving forward, but it's not like uh, buying a car. You can go to a car lot and buy a car, and it's yours in about an hour. Deals this big takes a couple of months to actually iron out all the legal stuff. So, yeah, he, he has bought it per se, but he hadn't signed the last paper yet. Somebody asked, why do I always down on Joe Biden when Trump has skeletons in his closet too? Yeah, but Trump is not the president right now. The president that's in the office gets all the, uh, all the uh, negative reviews and people making up stories about him. I, that's what you're implying that I'm doing, making up stories. So the president that's in office at the time they're the ones that make get these stories made up about them, and people lies about them all the time. I mean, I mean, if if a person's not in office, we can't really can't really jump on that person now, can we? Although the sad thing is, all of these stories that you probably think that are being made up about Joe Biden are actually true. Somebody said in the comments. She said, I want to know, are we getting a forced stimulus check? No, in fact, if you've been listening to this channel for any length of time, or David over at TEC Show, or Stephen Gardner, you would know. There is no stimulus checks seriously being discussed right now. A few senators has brought up proposals with a stimulus check, but that's all they've done is brought them up. It's just a wasted piece of paper. We're not getting stimulus checks as of now. We could in the future. Anything's possible. But as of now, there is no, absolutely zero chance of getting a stimulus check. Thank you all so much for all the support you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Please sound off in the comments. Empty out everything you got in my comments. You won't hurt my feelings, and I would love to hear from you. Dr. Doolittle Fauci said, if Trump wins, they're so scared Trump is going to win, but he said if Trump wins, he will not work for him. Meaning, 2024, Dr. Doolittle will be unemployed because if Trump runs, he will win. Russia is now completely bankrupt. That's pretty scary because he's already desperate. He's already to all we know dying he is a desperate man and now he now his whole country is bankrupt on kind of what he's done and he's got that little red button sitting right beside him it's a scary situation Joe Biden in the White House has put together a website to let mothers know where to get the baby's milk the, the problem is with this website what they've created is a website for people to go find out where this milk is, this formula is, and then they go buy it up and sell it on eBay and Amazon for a much higher price. So, actually this website makes the problem even a lot worse. Well, President Trump got us out of Somalia well, now little Joe is sending American troops back into Somalia. Yet he's sticking his nose into another country's affairs and overturning something that Donald Trump done. Isn't that a surprise? He done this with executive orders. That way the Congress could not say no. So he done it with executive orders to send our troops back into Somalia. Okay, that is the executive order that I talked about on the thumbnail. There is another part of that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. All three parties agree inflation and the southern border is top priorities for Americans. Yes, they are. We need to close our border so we can have a country again. Right now, we have no country. 
and we need to do something with inflation because people are struggling. These are the two most important areas, in my opinion. But all three parties are saying it is the most important to them. Well, why in the hell haven't they done anything about it? I mean, they're the ones that caused this debacle. I mean, now I don't see them doing anything to fix it. Oh, well, midterms in 2024 is coming up. Okay, this is the other part of that on my thumbnail. Joe wants to help you buy a home, but not so fast. No, 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 no. Don't get excited. He don't want to help you until after the election. He's going to use this to gain votes. He wants to set aside $10 billion to help American families buy a home. This is buying your vote is all it is because if you wanted Americans to be able to uh, afford a home, he would do something about inflation. He would bring food prices down, gas prices down, cars down, uh, housing prices down. He would bring pharmaceutical, uh, I mean, the medical stuff. He would bring all of that stuff down. And if he brought everything down to a sensible amount, he wouldn't need to set aside this $10 billion to help families buy their home because they could afford it on their own then. He killed the American dream with all of this inflation. But he says he wants to set this aside to help the American people buy their first home. Why can't he just outright help the American people, everyone, because everybody is not in the market to buy a new home. Elon Musk is still wanting to buy Twitter, but he feels that Twitter is as high as 80% fake accounts and bots. And I'm kind of agreeing with him on that. Uh, there's a lot of fake accounts on Twitter. You can find them yourself. You just have to go through the people that's on your, on your friends, uh, on your uh, followers. Go to their accounts, each of them one by one. And you'll see how many are not there anymore. Bitcoin. You know, I've always told you about how bad I dislike Bitcoin. It undermines the United States dollar. If we're an American, we should spend American greenbacks. If we're ashamed to spend those greenbacks, we need to get the hell out of this country because the United States dollar is the only dollar I will ever spend. But right now, the Bitcoin is crashing still it's been crashing for a few days now aren't you glad you didn't get into it luna coin has been a very good uh cryptocurrency up until now but right now it's sitting at zero y'all the only thing i want is greenbacks i collect those now if y'all don't like your greenbacks anymore send them to me my address is in the bottom of every video just go ahead and send your uh Send your dollars to me because Bitcoin is better. Y'all, I love you all. Don't forget midterms, 2020, 2024. Sound off in the comments. I love you all. Until tomorrow, please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people in Washington. Say a prayer for everyone around the world hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. Just know I love you all. Until tomorrow, ciao.